everyone, it's Tammy and this is card number two in our fabulous Flabingo uh, stamp series. So I'm making three cards and I've made the first one, this is going to be the second one, and this is a two stamp and stamp set and it is available on Stampin' Up! and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you are interested in any of the products that you see me use, you can find them on ttscraps.stampinup.net and I would love to have you as my customer. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a really cute card and we are using Flirty Flamingo cardstock along with Whisper White cardstock. And that's all the colors that I'm going to be using for this. But then I'm going to be using different colors of ink. I'm going to be using Perfect Plum and Concord Crush, Marina Mist and Pool Party, and then also Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. So we're going to do three different flamingos and we're going to do each one of them a different color. And I have a piece of Whisper White that is going to go on the inside of this card and I'm just going to use my bone folder to crisp up the edges. And this is just going to go on the inside of this card like that to give you a nice place to write your little note. And then this one is going to go out here, and this is what we're going to stamp on. So I'm not going to attach this yet until I've already done my stamping, so I'm going to just put that out of the way. This is for the sentiment, and I'm not sure if we'll use rhinestones for this card or not, but we might. Why not, really? So I need to get a piece of scrap paper. So I'm just going to put that down here. And then I need my block and... I'm going to do the pink one first, so I'm going to grab my pink ink. And you start with your lighter color. And I'm going to be using my 3x3 block for this. And I have the full bodied solid flamingo body, I guess, <laughs> for lack of better words to say on this. I'm going to use that right in the middle. And there. Just like that. I'm going to clean that off, but I'm not going to put it away yet because I'm going to use the full body and I'm going to use this big stamping block that I have. This is not a Stampin' Up! stamp block, but this is a stamp block that I like to use with my Prima Dolls. And for this one, we're going to use the darker Flirty Flamingo. Just ink it up, and then you can see through your stamp to put it down right on top. Now, if you are doing this in your home, it's sometimes best to do it with your with you right on top of it because sometimes it is a little hard to see. But if you get right on top of it, you can usually see. So I'm sorry if my head was in the way at all. And there you go. That was actually really good. <laughs> Yay, sometimes I don't get it really good. And you know what, even if I don't get it really good, I'm still okay with it because it looks homemade. And I'm all about doing it homemade. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back on here because I'm gonna use it for the next color. So now I can put this pink away. And let's do our Concord Crush and Perfect Plum. Pick out the lightest color. That's his body. Make sure he's dry. And I'm going to put him hmm. 
I want a little more of his head to show, so I'm going to put him right there. There, that's better. Wash and dry this one. Get out my darker Concord Crush. That actually is really dark itself. I'm hoping that this is darker. <laughs> And we'll do the same thing with this one. Yes, it is darker. And you can see I kind of messed up, which is fine. Again, I don't mind. Clean this off. This is where the Stampin' Scrub is so handy. I've actually had mine for years and years, like 10 years. Maybe more. I'm finished with these two colors. Clean those back. And now I will get out the lighter pool party. Stamp his body. Now this time I can put this away, and I can put this away. And then I'm going to take my darker Marina Mist. going to stamp right on top of this one. Just like that. Hi, Tasman. Hi, Tasman. How's my boy? That bully dog came to say hello. Hi, baby. Put that up. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to take the water. And I think I'll just barely put some here on the bottom. like that. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Right over there. And I'm thinking I might use a little bit of the grass, too. So I think I'm going to get out Cucumber Crush. Then I'm going to get my Florida Flamingo again. And my Sentiment. I think I'll use the Tickled Pink for you.
Yay. Let's cut it close with that little scrap. So then I'm going to take this and just put it right on top of the cardstock. I think I'll trim this just a little bit more just a smidge my ruler fell and then I'm going to use dimensionals I think and put the this sentiment on using dimensionals I'm going to cover up this green that I had. I was originally going to put it on the bottom, but because I had that little green, I'll put that there. And let's go ahead and put some rhinestones on because they're out and we have them, so why not? You can even make little bitty ones that be their eyes if you wanted to. And they'd have beady little eyes. <laughs> There's another one in there. There we go. So there's our card. Super cute. Hope you like it. Hope you try it. Way easy. Bye-bye.